Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here in Prague, the Czech Republic. We are here near the Zofin Palace here where the uh, Chinese president will be meeting with a group of businessmen here to discuss investments, uh, whether it be here in the Czech and across, also in China. The security is extremely heavy in the Czech Republic. Unbelievable police presence here in order to protect the Chinese president. Of course, as you may know, uh, he will also from here be leaving, going over to one of the Catholic churches here in the Czech Republic. Makes you wonder just exactly what kind of relationship does China have with the Vatican, especially meeting at one of the Vatican's own institutions here in the Czech Republic. I'm Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon reporting with Israeli News Live. We are out here in front of the Strahov Monastery here in the Czech Republic, uh, waiting for the anticipation arrival of President, Chinese President Xi. As one Chinese man from Beijing explained to me that what appears to be his first name is actually called his family name. Uh, it's very interesting that he's actually coming here to the Strachov uh, Monastery because the Catholic Church and the Chinese have been at very cold relations here for quite a number of years. Uh, in fact, as early going back to 1932, I believe it was, Pope Pius XII established for the first time diplomatic relationship with China. But in 1939, once the Chinese nation had given way to uh, the communist uh, uh, ideology and brought in their first communist president, then the Catholic Church slowly lost grip in the country. It has been a steady, steady downfall and a, and a plummet uh, for the Catholic Church and the priests in that country since then. Before the Communist uh, Party got, got control of China, there were over two million Catholics inside the Communist country there. But since then, they broke off relationship in 1939, and it's been on the decline ever since. Pope Francis, though, has been trying to reestablish that relationship, and he even stated when flying back from his Cuba visit, he would like to be the first pope to visit China. As we know from the uh, former um, Jesuit priests, that, that it, they state that the Catholic Church, anytime they go to a country, it's because they have gotten control over that country. So no pope has ever visited China, nor Russia. And of course, Russia carries a lot of influence with the Chinese government. So it's interesting to see whether or not uh, we're going to see a relationship once again established with the Chinese people. Here and behind me, the Strohov Monastery, the Catholic Church, and a very odd visit for the president of China, President Xi, to be, be visiting this site. I'm Stephen Benoon reporting from Prague, Czech Republic.